develop a creative problem solving culture, it's, it's more difficult than just taking a class. Uh, to, to, for an organization to be creative, it, it has to start from the very top. And so the leadership has to recognize the importance of um, people working together in a creative way. And you have to first create the environment to allow creativity to happen and for creativity to flourish. And you have to set the example. You have to lead by example. So it, it, it um, requires very strong leadership in the organization. Uh, another way to encourage innovation and a culture of innovation in your company is to make sure that there are, are lots of interdisciplinary interaction between the different domains, the different disciplines within the organization. Uh, because more often than not, the innovative solution to the problem lies on the boundary between several different disciplines, okay? where people working together, one looking at the problem through their lens, through their eyes, and another person using their experiences looking at the problem. Together they come up with a solution that individually they never would have thought of. So you want to foster as much interaction between the different departments within your organization, and uh, you want to make sure that they understand that they're allowed and encouraged to try things. To encourage innovation, I believe, is to uh, probably to mix different generations together, okay? Because I really believe the younger people within your organization who haven't been told what is impossible, what they can't do, more often than not, they will surprise you and come up with solutions that older, more experienced folks that are used to solving the same problems over and over again will we'll think is, is impossible.